we should pray next month especially. We should be in prayer. I don't know which part of Zambia is that, but God showed me a place where there were heavy rains. Heavy rains and it turned into a flood. You know where houses were wiped away? Properties were damaged and even lives. People died, cars were dragged and carried away by the rains. I was praying the other day and I saw this vision very accurate. I'm still praying to know which part of the country is that, but I saw a certain place. It was unusual rain, unusual rain. To start with hailstorms, removing roofs, houses collapsing, trees falling and all those kind of arrangements. And then there was a huge flood that I saw. And this thing was reported all over media. There's this that is happening. There's this that is happening. And I'm saying it right now so that we should pray and stop this thing. The reason why we give prophecies like this is so that us believers can stand to pray and stop them. Sometimes even when we pray, certain things happen, but you don't know the gravity that they carried before praying. So we can pray now and this thing can stop or we can pray, but there can be a sign that this would have been worse than what it is. So let us stand in prayer, let us be strong in prayer, and let us believe what God is about to do. should uh, pay a lot more attention you know to this uh, cyclone freddy because clearly uh, most of the zambian people especially the poor people uh, from um, eastern southern central many other parts of the country will be affected heavy rains and it turned into a flood <laughs> Northern Conquerors Family Church Auditorium, Chalala, plot number 12531 slash M, south end of Kasama Road, 3 kilometers from Apex University, Lusaka, Zambia.